great to have you in the course. Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> excited to have you on board. Uh, what led you to join? Uh, your YouTube. I had recently, I actually found your YouTube like three days before the November LSAT. And I was like, if only I had known he existed three <laughs> months ago. <laughs> so yeah, I signed up and I'm taking it again in January. So I was like, got to get on this. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you found me and I'm, I'm glad to help. What are some of the biggest challenges you're facing right now? Well, so I, I wanted to apply by uh, Thanksgiving. That was like my goal. Um, and then my dad suffered from a really massive stroke at the beginning of October. Mm. So my study schedule kind of got mixed, mixed up and I don't think I did that well on the last one. So I originally, before everything happened, I was scoring in like the high 160s. Um, but I just don't think I scored that on the test. Um, so I want to get as much help as I can to increase my score more than 160 if it's possible. Um, and kind of just like give it one more shot because I have one more to go before I take all my free. Sure. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about what happened with your dad. I hope he's doing better now. And Much better. <laughs> uh, that's, that's great to hear. Yeah. And you've got two months now for January. So that's enough time to yes. make anything happen. Yes. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm glad you've got the course. I'm glad you've got all the resources available. And so it's just a question of diving in. I sent you one of the study plans, right? Yes. Yes, yes. I saw that. Fantastic. Any questions about it or about the course? Um, no, I think my main question is like I, because I've studied for so long, I know that I'm, I'm good at logic games and I'm, I'm okay at um, logical reasoning. And it's reading comp is where I'm really like still working on getting better. But with the time, like time is just what's really stressing me out every time. So I was just wondering if like uh, the study schedule will really like help me get better at the time situation. Yeah, it will. I mean, timing comes from understanding. The okay. better you understand things and the better you've established a process through which to approach each question, the more mm -hmm. smoothly all your time to work will go because you know exactly what to do and you're not reinventing the wheel every single time you encounter a new section or a new problem of that type, you're in a way almost cheating because you've seen it before. You've seen it before mm -hmm. in a different disguise. And so yeah. recognizing those underlying patterns can build that muscle memory or that intuition so that when you see a new problem, you've gone down that road so many times already that you're not reinterpreting that argument as a unique argument, but rather, oh, this is an argument like all those other ones I did in the past, like correlation causation, for example. If you see enough like that, you know what to look for. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Sorry. Let me write that down. So just more practice is pretty much like, I just got to keep going. It's practice, uh, but the course will give you the resources to know how to practice differently, how to review differently. And then to have a step-by-step -step approach for every single section and every single question type. Okay, great. Um, what am I? I also so because of my the situation, my I've been studying like every day. <laughs> like I was like I have so I don't have that much time. I need to keep going. And I saw that you said like don't practice every day and like take rest days and stuff like that. Um, because I have two months, do you still recommend taking like two days off each week or or what? Even with a two-month timeline, it's still important to take days off. Okay, that makes sense. Um, also, so like my my goal, my dream school is Georgetown. And I have um, a 3.46 from undergrad. I graduated in June. So I've been like volunteering and stuff like that, trying to make my resume strong. But I think ultimately like my LSAT score is what's going to like make me a more competitive candidate based on like my GPA. Um, and do you have like, I obviously it depends on like me as a person anyway, and my essays and stuff like that. But if I can score once in the one seventies, do you have a number that you think is like, if you can get to one seventy five or whatever that is, you're going to feel a lot better about Georgetown or like the high end schools. Yeah. I would think that anything in the one seventies will put you in the running Great. and their LSAC's website actually has a calculator where you can input your GPA with different potential LSAT scores and see how you stack up against their medians. It's not an entirely numbers driven. Of course, as you said, the other parts of the application make a difference, but a website like that will give you all the exact number crunching to figure out how you would stack up at Georgetown and others. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really think I have any, qu any questions. I've been like on your YouTube page all day long. <laughs> so awesome. I, most of you, most of my questions have been answered, but, um, Oh, actually one question. If I'm seeing that I like, for me, the assumption questions and logical reasoning 
always trip me up. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I either get them all right or I fail all of them. And I don't really know what in between is what I'm missing. Do you have like an approach to specifically for that kind of question? Like, is there something I should be thinking about before I go into it? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. So if you like the YouTube channel, you're about to get a lot more, but more in depth. For example, for necessary assumption questions inside the course, I have hour long full length recordings of classes covering necessary assumptions, sufficient assumption. These were live classes with example problems and concepts at the start then getting into several different examples of all the different question types. And so if you just go into the logical reasoning section of the course, anything that says workshop will be the recording of a full length class, especially on logical reasoning and logic games. And then for reading comprehension, I do these deep dive sessions where we'll spend an entire hour discussing just one reading comprehension passage. And you'll get the student questions in the class. You'll have, you'll see some people participate in the chat, other people unmute themselves, other people get on camera. And so you really get that community feel. And then you'll get that, in all the live classes I'm running as well. I've got classes tonight, tomorrow night, always plenty of things happening. Great. That sounds awesome. Um, Yeah, I'm I'm really excited because I did a tutor last summer and it was just like one-on-one and I hate one-on-one situations when I don't know anything. So I like, I just really like the setup. So I'm excited about that. Um, Yeah, I don't think I have any more questions. That's pretty much got everything I need. (laughs) Awesome, Megan. Well, I'm excited to have you on board again, and I look forward to seeing you in class soon. If you have any questions, just reach out. I'm happy to help. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.